Congresswoman Marsha Blackburn. Congresswoman, thank you for taking the time. Sure. What do you make of yes. what Charlie was just saying? The markets seem to be betting, kind of betting, that, that, that at the very least they're going to see lower corporate taxes this year. Do you agree with that? I believe the markets do believe they're going to see lower tax rates this year. And one point that I would make is I think they're looking at both the individual and the business side of that. Of course, business has more impact for what they're looking at. But, Neil, when you take it to the consumer economics side, what you get is individuals being able to reset their withholding. Going back to the first of the year, they are able to take home more every pay period. That means they're going to be spending a little bit more as well as hopefully saving some. You know, Congressman, we're just learning that uh, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell says he still wants to hold a vote to proceed with a straight Obamacare yes. repeal. Uh, even though it looks now with three uh, Republican senators, largely moderate senators, coming out against such an effort that it would fail. What do you think of that? Leader McConnell should put it on the board and go forward with something so that we can get into conference on this. The House made a commitment to this. We have to meet our promises. Uh, the Senate made the same commitment, and we would like for them to proceed and go to conference with us on this. Neil, the health care insurance marketplace is imploding. If we do nothing, 44 percent of the counties in this country next year are going to have zero or one. Oh, no, you're right. Individual. You sound like you're frustrated yeah. with your Senate Republican colleagues. We are a little bit. You know, they need that honey-do list and a deadline uh, so that they can get in there and get this work done. And we need them to come to the table. Uh, when my kids were growing up, we called it the family call. You had an issue, you had a problem, you call the family together. We sat at the kitchen table until we got it worked out. And that is exactly what our friends in the Senate need to be doing, is to get this done. The American people expect it. They're right to expect it. We want to get on the path so that everybody in this country has access to not only affordable insurance, but affordable health care. They can see the doctor when they have insurance. Well, you know, but interesting, Congresswoman, and to your point here, the president seems to be as frustrated as you were and are yeah. by saying, look, uh, let's just move on here. I'm paraphrasing, but in the White House, just indicating, let this thing implode. He was referring to Obamacare, the Affordable Care Act. The Democrats will come back to us. Is that his way of saying, maybe your way of thinking, that um, the health care thing, uh, you, you don't do anything until the Democrats come to you? No, I, our door is open. We would love for the Democrats to work with us and make this a, a bipartisan bill. But here is the thing with me and so many of my colleagues. We don't want it to implode. We do not want people and families to be put at risk. They well, he have seems already to be suffered okay enough. With that. He seems to be signaling this I'm is what it's okay going to be. that. So you disagree with the president on that? I, yes, I am not okay with putting people more at risk. I was talking to a constituent at a visitation on Sunday, and I have to tell you, they've been through five insurance providers in four years. They're spending about $30,000 a year out of pocket before the insurance kicks in to any good. I By think the what the president the is saying, though, Congresswoman, is, you know, Democrats built that disaster. Let yes, them now did. fix it. That's what he's saying. You fix I, it. I, I don't want people to be put at risk. Okay. I want individuals to have certainty. I want there to be stability. Health care should be centered on the patient, the individual, and they and their doctor should be able to make those decisions. And I don't want people to be put in any more un, unstable environments in health care than they are already in. I mean, they're already suffering through these premiums. They can't buy the insurance without a subsidy. Uh, they are watching these costs go up. Tennessee, the cost on insurance have gone you up. You want to do something. You don't want to just let it go. You don't want to let go. You can't. Con you Congresswoman, can't. You thank fix you. It. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. Good to talk to you, Neil. All right.